Show. How would you like to hear a classic example of media bias? In a slight way, we're caught in the middle of this. In a very, very slight way, we're caught in the middle. Just because we posted the original article back on, I think, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. We posted the original article on my website. And you can even go back and see on the list, chronologically, where we added the particular story and see the original headline. And then, well, it was rewritten after somebody complained. Headline was redone. Story had facts taken out. Story was changed. A classic example of caught, snagged, gotcha. And it happens to do with global warming. Welcome back to Schnipp. Give me details here in just a second. Welcome to hour number three, 1 800 801 8999 for Schnipp. Toll free, 1 800 801 8999. Yeah, look at them. The monkey lines are still lit up here. I need the monkey sound effects. All right, we'll go back to the monkey lines in a second. Let me just illustrate quickly this clear case of media bias. Story was reported one way, an activist apparently complained, and then it was changed. Let me explain. Let me, let me go back to my website, and uh, I'll give you a, just a, a clear-cut example of what happened. And if you, if you want to see this, if you want to see what we had posted, and I want to say this was, uh, let's see, what was the fourth? Was the fourth uh, Friday? Yeah, Friday was the fourth. If you go to our website, go to schnittshow.com, S-C-H-N-I-T-T-S-H-O-W.com, and you go to our global warming tab. It's on the left side of the page. You'll see the tab just near the bottom of the navigation list. Just click on global warming and go all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to look for item number 293, the 293rd article on the flip side of global warming. Or something that doesn't follow the path of, you know, the Al Gore anointed uh, decision of his that well, global warming is uh, real. It's uh, all man's fault. It's you know the U.S.'s fault. You know all that crap. Hockey stick graph, all that. If you look at 293, the headline is, and we take the headlines right off the stories, and then we link to the story. Headline on 293: Global warming dips this year. But when you click on the link now. The old headline is gone. It says global temperatures to decrease. And there's a lot of copy that has been changed in the story. Let me tell you apparently what's happened here. An activist wrote the BBC and complained to the author of this particular story. Now, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just blown away Am I surprised? No. Is this a clear-cut illustration before your very eyes of you know what many have discussed in regard to media bias? Uh, absolutely. Turns out that a woman by the name of Jennifer Morosi, who's the director of the Environment Unit at Australia's Institute of Public Affairs, somehow got a hold of this whole email exchange between the writer of the BBC online article, guy's name is Roger Harabin, and this activist who is associated with this uh, British organization, and it's uh, the Campaign Against Climate Change. So this Harabin wrote the piece originally, which we posted on our site on Friday. We have all the traps and filters, and we, we collect all of these stories. And the activist is a Joe Abess, A-B-B-E-S-S. Now, the original article, and we have the actual snap here. We have the, the cash copy of the original article. And that was global warming dips this year. You know what they also did? They even re uh, did the headline and changed the copy, but they left the exact same date. And time stamp. I mean, even more deceptive. Because, you know, it says page last updated 
at uh, you know zero zero forty two GMT Friday for April two thousand eight. And then the updated version, after the activist apparently complained to the author, still says, page last updated at 0042 hours, GMT, uh, Friday 4 April 2008. Did not change the time at all or the stamp, even though the story changed. Now, the original story, which we first posted on our global warming list, global warming dips this year. Global temperatures will drop slightly this year as a result of the cooling effect of the La Nina current in the Pacific, UN meteorologists have said. UN meteorologists have said. The World Meteorological Organization Secretary General Michel Giraud told the BBC that it was likely that La Nina would continue into the summer. This would mean global temperatures have not risen since 1998. This is important. That would mean Global temperatures have not risen since 1998, prompting some to question climate change theory. That was the original piece. This is a UN organization that said this would mean temperatures have not risen since 1998. But experts say we are still clearly in a long-term warming trend, and they forecast a new record high temperature within five years. Well, you've got many scientists that are saying, no, we're actually in the cooling period now, and a little mini ice age is on the way. We'll see what happens ultimately. The WMO points out that the decade from 1998 to 2007 was the warmest on record since the beginning of the 20th century. The global average surface temperature has risen by uh, uh, 0.74 degrees uh, Celsius. All right, so that's the original. Let's look at the update, which they did not uh, denote as an update on their BBC page. Again, they changed the headline from global warming dips this year to global temperatures to decrease. Global temperatures for 2008 will be slightly cooler than last year as a result of the cold La Nina current in the Pacific, UN meteorologists have said. The World Meteorological Organization Secretary General Michel Giraud told BBC that it was likely La Nina, blah, blah. But this year's temperatures would still be way above the average, and we would soon exceed the record year of 1998 because of global warming induced by greenhouse gases. The whole damn thing changed! And apparently, because of this email exchange between the writer of the piece at the BBC News, Roger Harabin, and this activist in Great Britain, this uh, Joe Abess, uh, this is just a clear-cut, in-your-face example of bias, of change, where the story was changed because we have an individual that's complained. And on our website, we have the uh, the Jennifer uh, Mahosi, or Morosi, Mar we have her blog, and you can click on it, and you can read the email exchange on how exactly this thing went down. I'll, I'll read her uh, her website, and again, this is a woman who is the director of the Environment Unit at Australia's Institute of Public Affairs. I have been emailed the following correspondence purportedly between an activist, Joe Bess, and BBC Environment reporter, Roger Harabin. It would appear that the result of the email exchange between the activist and the reporter was that the BBC changed its story. In particular, instead of reporting the story was, uh, or as received from the World Meteorological Organization, the BBC modified the story as demanded by the activist who is concerned that, in its original form, it supported the, quote, skeptics' correct observation that there has been no warming since 1998. 